Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Right, today we're making vegan fish and chips. Now, let's sharpen with my knife here. Now, as you can see, I've got cauliflower. That is our fish today. Um, I'm going to um, just pinch, just put the knife into the cauliflower, just a little, a little couple of pinches in there, and then you put the cauliflower in a bowl like that, and then you put some hot water on it. And just leave it That's boiling like that until it cools down. Boiling hot water. Boiling hot water. Just leave it like that uh, and that's fine. So, now, so we're making fish and chips, vegan fish and chips we're today. We're making vegan fish and chips. Now, uh, while that is um, uh, just uh, cooling down, um, so if I, can, if I can just clear up one thing, so, um, um, so I'll, I'll keep you on camera for this anyway. So you, you, you probably don't know what clickbait is, do you? Clickbait? No. No. Okay, so the, the headline of this video is probably going to say something like vegan fish and chips. Um, so it's not, it's, not, it's not really clickbait because this is the nearest taste that we've found to fish, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, which, we, which we've had yeah. regularly. Okay, so, uh, but um, once it's cooked, it tastes. It's the, it tastes it's, like fish. Yes, it, 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 but, but but without that horrible tang. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And the thing is that um, you can use uh, sweet, believe it or not. You can use carrots and parsnips. Parsnips are really really nice. When you put back in parsnips, you just get a parsnip, split it down the um, middle. You don't need to put it in water. Straight in the flour, batter, and it's done. Um, and it's, it really is nice. And what I've done here, I've made um, some um, batter, which is, you know, is a, a, almost just a little bit thicker than an ordinary pancake batter. Now, what I've done here, I've used some turmeric powder for colour. Now you can see the price of a whole bag of that is one forty nine. You can get from um, any delicatessen shop. Okay, that's. I mean, when you when you consider what you buy in a supermarket, you pay for that one forty nine or even more for a small tub like that. So anything like that, you, all, all your particular herbs and Indian um, herbs and things like that, you go to the right place. Okay, um, basically it is water, flour and turmeric powder, salt and pepper, and that's it. I'm just going to make the batter now. Now what I normally do, um, I've got a bowl of cold water here, and um, I'm going to season it uh, with some salt. I know roughly how much salt I put in, because I've been doing it for so long, but I'll tell you how to test it later. And a little bit of pepper. It's best to season the water first, so that it has an equal amount of seasoning all over, all over the batter. Now, with the particular turmeric, I have a, a level tablespoonful of turmeric powder. There we go, and put that in there like that. Put that there, and I just mix that around like that. Put that on the table so you can see it better. Mix that around, and then I add, you can basically add any type of flour you want, um, and just mix it in like that. Which is the best flour, would you say? Um, well, I, I mean, we use uh, self-weighting flour for everything here, but um, it doesn't really matter. Um, self-weighting flour, we do a lot of baking, so we use self-weighting flour, um, but um, you know, you can use plain flour, you can use any flour, you can use, um, uh, wheat flour, um, grain flour, anything at all that you wish um, to put in it. But um, I, I'm just making a, a nice batter, a nice crispy batter, which is basically just flour and water and seasoning, nothing else. And there we go. So um, just quickly mix that in now. You'll get the texture, um, you'll feel it. It's a little bit thicker than a, a pancake mix. And basically, a pancake mix is, is made the same way without the turmeric, basically. And there we go, and the salt and pepper. Okay, right, so there we go. So it's just getting a little bit thicker now, as I just want it. There we go. It's very quick to do. There we go. Just a bit more. Right, 
So now we have our batter, and don't forget our cauliflower is cooling down quite nicely. So there's our batter done. So that's that ready. So we put that, put that by there. Now, if you feel as though you need to taste the batter, just to see if it is uh, just the right amount of seasoning in it, that's fine. It should be just slightly saltier than normal, just a tad. Okay, so that's good. Right, now, now we've got, um, I'm gonna make um, some, I'm gonna put some peas in the saucepan here, in the saucepan like that. There we go. You've pre-switched on the, the, the fryer. Yeah. Fryer's on, and I'm just going to, now what you do with the boiling water, you just make sure that it's level of the, level of the peas. Okay, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna make some tartar sauce now to go with our fish and chips. So while this is cooling down, I'm going to um, get some capers. There we go, just a few capers here, put them on the chopping board. There we go, we're gonna make small amounts here, that's all. Depends really how many you're gonna cater for or whether or not you want to make quite a lot and then and then put it in a jar afterwards. And I'm putting two two gherkins in here as well. So there we go. Baby gherkins. Baby gherkins. So now we're just going to chocolate. And of course we're gonna put a little bit of parsley with it as well. And we're gonna chop all that up like that. Don't forget the holder knife. You must always hold the knife on the end like that. Never by the handle. Okay, so off we go. So we're just gonna cut all this up here. And um, a little bit of onion I need here for this. Um, let's have a look. I think we'll have a little bit of onion. Just a tad of onion there, which I forgot to put in. Just to dice that up. Right, now we're going to put this into the bowl. Add some mayonnaise, which is vegan mayonnaise. It's upside down. Oh, it's upside down, okay. Same. Vegan mayonnaise. Okay. So, put a little bit in there, mix it up. Now here is your tartar sauce. It's so simple to make. And I'm going to now the peas are just starting to boil. So what we do, we take these peas off straight away. And straight away, I put no salt in the water of these peas, as I told you before. You don't put salt in anything that you boil. So what I'm going to do now is put some bismuth into these peas here. Get a bit of bismuth in there. Put that back on there. A little bit of salt and pepper. And some pepper. Tad. We always use sea salt, don't we? Yeah, always use sea salt, always. And a pinch of sugar. Just a pinch of sugar, and all you do is mix it around like that. But the secret of these peas, as soon as it comes to the boil, you take the peas off straight away. Straight away. Okay, straight away. So you just leave that there. Leave those there, uh, like that, and now we have a little pot here for 
the plate afterwards. So we're going to put our, our tartar sauce in that to go with our fish and chips. Okay, so that's ready for later on. Now, let's put that over here for a moment. Now, our lives are so busy that we sometimes don't have the time to actually get potatoes, peel them, cut them up into chips, blanch them or cook them straight off. You know, we're, 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 our lives are so busy trying to make a living in things and, and there are certain things you can use. Now I have had a look around and I, I found these chips. Now these are steak chips. Now they're frozen and it says vegan on the package. Now these are slightly blanched chips um, but they're very, very good. Um, we don't overcook them and they're perfect. So we're going to use these today. So it's really quick. So I'll just put these by here for a moment. Now I'm going to, um, yeah, my, see now, as long as you can put your fingers in the water of the cauliflower, it's ready. So what we're going to do now is get a plate and I'm just going to put some flour on it. There we go, let's take out our cauliflower. And what we're going to do now is just put some flour on it a little bit. Sprinkle some flour over it. Turn it over. There we go. It's fine. So put that over here. And now what we're going to do now is to put this into the batter. So just put it into the batter, make sure that it's completely covered. And now we're going to put it into the chip pan. Okay, give me a moment. So. In the chip pan it goes. So here we go, it's nice, it's frying very nicely now. I'm going to put my chips in at the same time. And it's all going to cook together. Now as I say, you can, you can use swede, carrots, parsnips, it doesn't really matter, but parsnips are delicious, absolutely delicious. So we're just letting that cook. And um, We've got our peas ready, so it's basically fish and chips. So if, if you buy chips from the fish and chip shop, you think you're eating vegetarian, um, but you're not, uh, because it's it's been they, they, they cook sausages, they cook fish, they even reheat the chicken. It all goes in the same fat. So when you have the chips, you've got meat in the fat, and you're actually eating that when you eat chips. So. We're, we're, we're doing well here. That looks good. So we'll go back to that in a minute. Um, I've got a plate here to put everything on. Now, obviously it would have to be um, a warm plate, not a cold one. So then we sort of decorate it by putting a little bit of lettuce on the plate. Um, with um, some tomato. As I say, you cut it down the stalk for salads and down the middle for frying. So I'll just put a couple of slices of tomato on the lettuce like that. And believe it or not, onion, raw onion is lovely. It really is nice, raw onion. A little bit of parsley. And that's our garnish at the moment for our fish and chips. So let's just see how we're all doing. It's almost ready. That's how quick this is. It's, it, it, it takes the same amount of time as as um, as ordinary fish and chips, really. If you don't like cauliflower, you can slice a uh, slice of swede, um, carrots, parsnips, anything you really like. And this is coming, look at that now, it's really, it's really looking nice now. 
coming on really nice now. The, now the only way to try this because cauliflower is inclined to float when it's not cooked because fish doesn't uh, when it's when it's cooked fish it floats um, it's sort of halfway in between if, if it's not cooked so you do have to try out um, your particular cauliflower um, to see if it's cooked right through just with a little knife like that just put it in like that you can see it's almost ready now almost ready be ready in, a, in about you know I don't know 30 in about a minute and it'll all be ready it's so easy to do and these chips are really nice they're really nice chips And sometimes lifting them up like that does brown them off a bit quicker because you're letting the air get to it. So this, oh it's really getting nice and soft now. So we're almost there. I have to get a bigger pan, uh, <laughs> a bigger frying pan. Because there's quite a lot of us um, here. And normally I cook, I cook the, uh, the, the cauliflower, put it in the oven and I cook the chips afterwards. Um, and then, you know, it, it works out quite well. So now we're done. So we just let that drain off. You can even shake it like that, it's quite firm, it's nice. Now, what I normally get is a, is a bit of tissue and uh, put it on the plate. Let's get the cauliflower, the uh, take that off there, put the chips on there. Just move over here. And there we are. Now that's the fish and chips. Now don't forget, that's the steak chips and it's vegan on the packet. I know we're all so busy, we haven't got time sometimes to actually peel the potatoes, cut them up and, and fry them. So they go back into the deep freeze. And now what we're going to do now is to place our fish on there like that and our chips. Now it's you know it's nice to have them all facing the right way if you can do it. Good presentation means. Now very hot. As you know, I'm just taking them out of the out of the pan. So there are the chips. And that's the fish. Now we're going to put the peas on. which I've got here. You can see a nice little bit of butter there. In with the peas. There we go. Right, now... Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce is, is coming. Looks lovely. We've got um, lemon to put on now. Pieces of lemon. Go on the, there we go on there like that. And uh, we can even have some slices of cucumber. And just twist them around like that. Make it look a little different. And a bit more parsley. And there are your fish and chips and your tartar sauce. Okay. Again, I've tasted this and it tastes the nearest you can ever taste a fish. It's really nice. It is excellent. It really is nice. And I noticed that you didn't put a lot of seasoning or any seasoning on the cauliflower itself because no. seasoning's in the batter. Seasoning is in the batter. Okay, looks lovely. Okay, I'll just. I added a bit of um, extra. Uh, um, uh, uh, Vitalite on the, on the peas. Um, not obviously it would be boiling hot um, when I serve it like that, but I just thought I'd show you very quickly. There we go, um, and, and that's basically it. The presentation is everything. You've got, uh, you've got everything there. You've got your tartar sauce, you've got your fish, your cauliflower, and you've got the chips, and you've got a little bit of uh, salad, um, and you've got um, 
um, your tartar sauce, all done, ready, prepared, finito, finished. Right, so let's have a little taste of them, shall we? Yeah. Oh, look how crunchy it is. Listen to that. This, just listen to this, I know. Oh, look at that. Can you hear that crunch? Yeah. Oh, wasn't that beautiful? It looks lovely. Absolutely delicious. Oh, it's absolutely lovely. I'll, beautiful. I'll, I'll try some, if you don't mind. Yeah, of course. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a fork for you. I'll we'll try some of that, and I'll try some of that, and it looks like fish. I'm Look at that! Yeah. Oh, my God! Oh, that tastes lovely. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, mm. absolutely delicious. If you put a bit of tartar sauce with that, you wouldn't even know you're not eating fish. No. Similar as that. That is really, really nice. Isn't it nice? That's fantastic. Much better than fish. Mmm. And the batter is so simple to make. Turmeric powder, flour, water, and seasoning. It's simple and so crunchy. Mm. Oh, perfect. Hmm. I think we'll have that tonight, Adam. Don't you? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Okay, so that's what it is. So I'll make it tonight for everybody. That's lovely. We've already been trying it, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we, we've already been tasting the tartar sauce and the chips, and they tasted so fantastic. Oh, I thought God, we had, it's we had, absolutely we had to film delicious. It. Look at that! Yeah. Look, just look at that! And it, oh, it tastes goodness. lovely. I, I, we were just eating oh, some, and we thought, well, oh. how, how can we not be? Yeah, the smart reactions. It really tastes oh. nice. This tartar sauce it so tastes fresh. so natural, and you can taste everything. It's really mm. nice. Get some. We've already eaten quite a bit of it, so that's delicious. what we do. It's lovely. Mind you, it took me a long time to find the right chips for this. Yeah, and you go go, and you've got to go for steak chips, vegan steak chips, mm. and you don't, don't don't go for the. Forget about your French fried chips. You've got to go for these chips that I mentioned. The steak. Yeah, and um, my steak mother's chips. my mother's just tried them. What was it like, Mum? Oh, they're fantastic. We just took Absolutely. some out. Good, excellent, good. Well, I think we're going to have that tonight. Tender yeah. and crispy. The batter was crispy. Mm. No, what uh, is this? The tartar sauce is the best I've ever taken. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Oh, and, that, and that was, and that wasn't even, and that was all I lived. You, you weren't even supposed to come in then, so that was Sorry nice. About that. No, it's good. No, it's perfect because we're just talking about the tartar sauce. I'm going to make a cup of tea because I. I've just made you one. It's over dish. there. Well, I can't go there, I'll be on camera. Okay, anyway, we'll just, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there then, okay? Yeah. It's fantastic, that's all, it's absolutely fantastic. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, I hope you understood everything else today. And um, thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel and um, give us a like. Um, I'll be doing um, uh, things every week, cooking every week. I'm making some Borskin cheese. Sometimes people think, well, I used to love that cheese, and, and I'm, a, I, I'm a vegan, I, I can't buy it, I can't, I don't know what to do. I can make that for, for you. I, it's so simple to do. I can make that, it's easy. Um, so that's the next thing I should be doing, is Borskin cheese, and I'll be showing you how to make uh, vegan apple pies, um, and um, pasties, uh, meat and potato pasties, and uh, meat pies and so forth, curries, it goes on and on and on. I mean, the list goes on. I'll try and do two a week soon, but not at the moment. But it's it's one dish a week. Uh, but thank you very much indeed for uh, watching, and um, look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye.